In February, Dr. Rajiv Shah, Administrator of USAID, concluded his two-day visit to Nepal. During his trip, Administrator Shah emphasized a new model of development that leverages public-private partnerships and harnesses science, technology and innovations to deliver more effective development results. As part of his visit, Dr. Shah pledged 100 million US dollars to advance a more prosperous, resilient and democratic Nepal. In capital, Kathmandu, Dr. Shah met with Nepal's newly appointed Prime Minister, Sushil Koirala, and interacted with civil society leaders. He also met beneficiaries from USAID's programs focusing on health, education, agriculture and human rights. One of the highlights of Dr. Shah's visit was to acknowledge and applaud Nepal's role in improving child and maternal health. USAID awarded the Government of Nepal with its Pioneer's Prize recognizing excellence in science and technology. Nepal's chlorhexidine program, supported by USAID, has helped save hundreds and thousands of newborns at risk of umbilical cord infection. Use of chlorhexidine has been shown to reduce Nepal's neonatal mortality by 23%. With increasing number of children enrolling in early education, USCID is also supporting Nepal's Ministry of Education through the National Early Grade Reading Program. At Buddha Secondary School, in Lele Village Development Committee, Dr. Shah observed the first ever nationwide early grade reading assessment supported by USCID, which will create a baseline against which to measure improved reading skills. The new National Early Grade Reading Program will be informed by robust diagnostics, designed for scale and will feature innovative technologies to improve reading. The school in Lele is one of the first in the country to use tablet computers to evaluate primary school students. In Lele, Dr. Shah also met local farmers who have benefited from the USCID supported agricultural programs. At a local farm, he learned about the greenhouse and seed nursery that have helped farmers produce off-season vegetables. It's one of the integral parts of USAID's impacting lives through increased incomes program in Nepal. During his two-day visit, Administrator Charles toured the historic city of Patan. He observed the 17th century palace courtyard and walked through the city's neighborhood. The walk's purpose was to showcase the seismic vulnerability of the area. Kathmandu Valley, along with its surrounding suburbs, lie in one of the most seismic zones in the world. In Patan, Dr. Shah also observed the retrofitted building of three Padma Higher Secondary School. USAID has been instrumental in supporting various programs targeted towards safer construction of buildings, school safety education, as well as safety and evacuation drills. At the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, Dr. Shah met with Nepal's government officials to find out more about the country's position on climate change. He was introduced to the Survey Himalaya project funded by USAID and NASA and its satellite-based observations that help monitor forest fires, agriculture, land cover change, and glacial cover. In a panel discussion, Dr. Shah stressed on the importance of a science-based development policy to reduce poverty. Administrator Shah's Nepal visit highlighted the post-election period as a new day for Nepal, in which the new government has an opportunity to build upon the political stability resulting from the November 2013 elections to promote economic growth by harnessing innovation and private sector investment. The administrator emphasized key reforms needed to signal to the private sector that Nepal is open for business, particularly in the agriculture and energy sectors, which have significant potential to drive economic growth and reduce extreme poverty in Nepal. Speaking at the National Economic Summit, as he concluded his trip, Dr. Shah noted the long-standing partnership between the US and the government of Nepal and reinforced the need for stronger political leadership and policy reforms to drive investment where it will have the biggest impact on extreme poverty. Six decades ago, Nepal and the United States first came together to build a new future for all Nepalis. Many of our early partnerships led to Nepal's first roads and in fact installed its first telephone exchange. And though our commitment remains just as strong today as it was 60 years ago, today we know that a new and different approach is necessary and in fact better. An approach that brings public and private partners together to build out a modern infrastructure in energy, telecommunications, tourism, and agriculture can help serve as the basis of Nepal's future and an approach that continues to build on the gains we've made, but insists on more data and accountability and results in health and education 
can continue to improve opportunities for the next generation of Nepal's leaders. We look forward to working with you. We know now is a special time. We wish you the best of luck and the most success. And together, we believe Nepal can be an example of what's possible in the next 10 to 15 years as we work around the world to answer President Obama's call to end extreme poverty as we know it. Thank you.